there she goes. So it's at least at, at a bare minimum getting up to 40 and change tomorrow. And then continuation with Bitcoin. Now there's like a lot of speculation of all these companies. Yeah, God, it's gone. 50K. 50K by Wednesday. Yeah, it should be pretty easy. Mm. 46,000. Pretty crazy what one man can do. Mr. Elon Musk. Forty six thousand on the ask and forty six thousand on the bid. Uh, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. So now you can see it broke out and is extending. Could really ramp up here like massively with where it's at now. Yes, yeah, so you can essentially just double this here. To the midpoint and then just take it out right there. So that's going to at least put us at 60,000 here off of this move. So looking for a move up here and we might see a pullback, but that is where it's going to get very short order. Yeah, is that confirmed? Forty six four hundred. Wild. Very wild. Yep, Mara ripping. Thirty seven. Gonna go to forty here after hours. So really nice move. What I say? 2021 is the year of Bitcoin, and surely enough, here you got it. There's more companies add this to their balance sheet, which is going to to rip into the stratosphere. So Mara has next resistance up here at 40, and then after that, it's up here at 54. And then if it proves to get through that, there's a a move up to. Here at 100. So things are looking good on the Bitcoin front, thanks to Mr. Musk. Yeah, I mean, all those that you listed there create are fair game. So, what I'm going to do is run through. Run through my open positions and get whatever and give whatever commentary off of them. So ACB 
playing the long game here on this. I have a fairly low entry sub 10. I think it's around 8, if I remember correctly. So this one is breaking out now. trying to break out. So the next move up here is to 20th. Um, looks looks good. So you should see that move up there. And then whatever regulatory stuff comes in, this should continue to move. Acuity ads. Mara, um, 40, like real short order here, and then 54. And if Bitcoin gets to like a hundred thousand, then you're looking at a hundred dollars in there. If you guys are coming from Twitch here, Greg will send a link to the Discord, and you can just post in the main chat saying that you came from Discord, and he will get you all set up. Um, all right, so acuity ads. This whole sector is hot. I mean, I've been spot on 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 all of these magnite. I mean, that was my first call back in the day here at six dollars, saying this was an undervalued asset relative to. The dollar that they're trading on, which is uh, essentially, well, it's it's a programmatic media dollar, and my whole thesis behind it was the trade desk, which is on the demand side, was at just all time explosive highs, while Magnite was lagging, um, but they they transact in the same dollar. Magnite is on the supply side and tree deaths is on the demand side. Uh, while it's not a, a fair comparison, that gap needs to be closed. And surely enough, Magnite finally caught on. And, and now it's just skyrocketing here. So you could see this move up to to 65. You got to be careful off in these, these levels now. It's 60. Point five, but they didn't make a new acquisition, SpotX. So they have the best they have the best package of video inventory out there between Magnite because they had this company called Telaria, which was was fairly big within video, and now they have SpotX, which is another key player in CPV. So from a, a video perspective, that is the strongest supply of inventory relative to all other sell-side platforms out there. You have CPV, OTT, digital, native, all these different type of inventory formats. CTV, OTT is obviously seeing explosive growth. Look at Roku, Hulu. YouTube, go down the list. So the amount of inventory access that Magnite now has with the recent acquisition of spot acquisitions that extremely well uh, in what some would call a commoditized sell, uh, supply side platform industry. So they are, are pretty unique and differentiated today. So huge positive. Uh, a huge plus on the recent acquisition and kind of all the moves they're making. Acuity is just an, another player, uh, much smaller than a Magnite, but played this one as a sympathy play. Um, just the whole sector heating up, Pubmatic you have also up there. Um, definitely sold this one early, as you can see, but Oh, well, uh, regardless, really good trade. I think we had plus 25% entry to exit. So can't complain on that. No hindsight here.
So whole sector heating up, that's a, the key reason why I re-added that as a swing. Uh, a firm bought this one today at like 118. Looking for the move up here. So a really impressive break out of the channel. I'm going to go down to four hours so you can see it better. So there you can see it breaking out of the channel, turning higher. Now it should push up to this 137 retest. And I mean, it's possible that it just shoots right through. Similar to what Dash did the uh, two weeks ago, maybe last week, let's say. But right here, it's actually the same setup. You see it right here? Out, turning, curling, extended above all time high. So looking for a, a very similar setup here on a firm. The whole sector is hot. A firm recent IPO. You have you have Afterpay. AFTPY, they're the, the leader in the space, based out of Australia. Some monstrous company. Um, have this one going up to 140, 150 now. The higher linear degree. Um, buy now, pay later. Essentially just credit solutions at checkout. Uh, gaining a bunch of traction with consumers. So, Love love the space overall. You have PayPal Pay and Four, so they they added that to their suite of solutions. You have After Pay, the leader. You have a firm that does higher AOV, so that means higher average order values. So more expensive gives that checkout. Um, the only problem is like customer diversification. Peloton if in their S one, and a firm's S one was a very high portion of revenue. So just need to be careful on that. And then I have, was this the, is this Catapult? No, that's F. Uh, so this one I also bought, FinServe. This is Catapult, same type of, of company thematic play here. Um, so rejection right here at this blue resistance line, but now looking for it to, to bounce here. So it may come down to that low mid 16 range. I need to see what I put on that, that order as a stop. Don't want to get stopped out here because this should, should prove to, to move into that call it W formation that we talk about all the time where it bounces off support and releases. So like this one as a thematic as well. Um, so that is two buy now, pay later type of companies there. Um, next position. Next position here is air lease. This is just a laggard. Um, let me just go on the monthly. But you can see, I like this one better than Boeing. More upside potential, and I'd like to invest in companies with smaller dollar figures here so this one's really good Let's see overbought it needs to get up to the seed peak within the channel now and then the reflection on the other side into peak overbought is around 85 so oh wow look at that the bits the bits are coming in if you haven't used your twitch prime sub you better use it now 
You want more good winners. That will motivate me. Um, but yeah, so this is just a laggard. Just keeping it really like it a lot. Fundamentally, I know it's, I know it's uh, very well regarded company. So liked it. This one I'm just playing for this longer term of the thirty. So. Sub height, bit height. <laughs> so this one I'm just playing for the longer term move. I'm gonna just take the drawdowns if they come. Obviously they did the offering here, which was not well received clearly. It is on support. Not too sure if it's gonna hold here. Unfortunately, but I, I'd personally be willing to take a drawdown into the eights. Let's see, where is that? It's right there. Yeah, I mean, that would probably be 797 worst case. So it's definitely a hit. Hopefully that doesn't happen. Uh, Axta coding or Exalta coding. Just sitting in this channel on support, breaking out of resistance and now just sitting here. I think you can get a pretty nice 15% move from here. So looking for that move following the blue arrow. Baba, just a long-term hold for me at this point. It's going to get back up there to 320, so sticking with that for sure. EFT. To be honest, now I'm getting confused with what all these SPACs. SPACs are, are what now? Um, so, what is BFT? Is this the catapult one that I literally just looked up? No, that was uh, FinServe. What is BFT? Oh, this is PaySafe or whatever. Okay, so in the channel, there is room rejection at the blue line as well. Room down to the bottom of the channel, call it low 17s, but I'm looking for that move into the overbought here. So it's a, a fairly sizable move here. It'd be almost 30% off of this drawdown all the way down. So I may add, and then we just keep it a tight stop loss. I think I have one at like 1650, just in case there's any head fakes down. But um, yeah, this one looks really, really nice. This one, big commerce, uh, not going to spend too much time on it. At this point, it's just a long-term play. Also a, a piece of shit. So um, just in terms of how it trades. This was the buy zone that I missed. But the longer term move is that you retest to 160. So not too much to, to say there. Yeah, I just don't even watch it. This one likely going to extend to 52. Did did Corsair actually have earnings or is that tomorrow? Anyone can help me? But you can see it again. It's that U. You. you see it? You just got the sideways turn here and now it's going up. So. The okay, now I have an issue here. All right, so Corsair, you see this move here that I have selected. It's going for a retest, and then with strong earnings, which it should have, given the COVID nineteen tailwinds to the gaming industry. Just look at Activision record results. Got up to that target that I was talking about initially. Um, The 
legitimately in my alert, I had one of three, and that's exactly what you got in Activision. So, expect similar beat from Corsair uh, PC gaming accessories. Console accessories go down the list. They're thematically really well positioned. Curleaf like this one a lot. As you can see, it's finding resistance at this upper linear line. So this one right here, the blue line. But as soon as it gets out of this, then it's off to the races. So let me just zoom out. That's annoying. It's the only bad thing about trading too. They put that up there. So the move is up here to 1880. And then once it breaks out there, you're looking at a move to, to all the way up to 34. Um, which is essentially just the distance from the bottom of the move here. So from the bottom of the move here, all the way up here, and then just doubled again up. So that is Cure Leaf, really like this one a lot. Camping Worlds on this one, now you can see you got the bounce, and now you're looking for that head and shoulders move. So you can see left shoulder and the the left side, the head, and then right shoulder, and now it's breaking towards the neckline, and then it should extend all the way up to 86. So really like Camping World here. This one is a monster, and once it gets up here, to call it this 47 level is when you really see the extension out. So that looks really good. Data Dog finally moving. It should get up here to at least 140. Um, and then, so 140 to 160 is the target on Data Dog here. You have the first leg up, consolidation across, and now it needs to get um, to the C peak and even to that second leg higher. So that would be a 140 to 160 target. DraftKings, same thing. Bunch of oversell down here, looking for the overbought up here, uh, 100 to 110. ETH just playing this, Bitcoin, etc. All all hot. So, so the, the sky's the limit here, looking for a move to 25 short order. EXPC, another SPAC, ARC owns this one. You can see it's it's really consolidating here. Um, let me fix this. So it's getting rejected right there, but there is a lot of consolidation here. You can see. So it's holding that, and now it should start to turn here and then head up. Um, yep. Blade helicopters. But Ark likes it. I mean, it's not, this isn't a massive position for me by any means, so. Just playing this breakout here, it looks like it wants to go, so you might as well just uh, stick with it. Uh, you can see this is where it's really getting rejected, 1580. So this should release here in the next day or two, just given how sideways it trades. Like 
it's been trading in here. I mean, that's that's a lot of consolidation. So look for this to release higher. One second, plug in this and go to my desktop. Okay, so that is EXPC. That is, like you said, Blade, Uber, the skies, whatever you want to call it. Not, not sure of their geographic presence, but definitely in in new york um so that's expc smaller position fastly as common this looks like it it wants to go i mean this is ridiculous consolidation relative to the, the two prior times over here but I, I kind of drew it for you again. This looks like a larger scale um, pattern of what's seen here on the B peak, this blue line that I have selected. So looking for same thing here, just larger scale, and that would be an extension up to 160. So if it's going to follow the pattern, then it's going to go here within the next, by, by end of week, easy. Um, so that, that's fastly for all of you guys that are in it. I think it's, um, it is approaching the, the time where it's going to start to take off here. So I like it a lot. I uh, went through FinServe. FTOC I bought the other day, 4% move, um, just sitting on support and it looks like it, it wants to do that W. I always like buying things against the support that are in that W. So that's a, a nice $4 move up into this corner, um, C peak. So that was the rationale there. Insight Corp. This one is taking its good old time as well. Sitting on the support here, but Looks like it's going to get up to the 116 mark uh, within the channel. JKS, just sitting on this support here. Sure release. They have some negative news, so that is slowing down the turn. But when it releases, you're going to see that move to 80 at a minimum. It, it's been trading sideways for way too long here. Um, so from a technical perspective, it needs to release. They have the, the work camps or whatever, whatever you call them. <clears throat> yeah, I'll get to the request and once I'm going through my, my uh, current holdings here. So when this releases, you've, you're at least gonna get that move to 81 and then with momentum and where it's positioned on the chart, it should extend up to that 120. Mara went through this, just a beast looking for 40 and then 56, 55 ish, and then 100. Maxar, I mean, perfect here. It's getting back up to 58. We bought it down here at 44, spot on. Pagsaloro got that dip, um, similar to this dip over here. So tried to draw it out again for you. You so you could see it again, but now it should head up to, to 68, and then you're going to get that overbought position uh, reflection up here uh, because of the oversell due to COVID. This one's been slow to get back up. You have the A, B, C peak. So if there was no COVID oversell, you would just be targeting 68, but because there is now, it's up to the, the 90s. F talk. Um, the target here was 17 ish on FTOC. Mm -hmm. 
we have pet Q. So I've been, I posted the video here down at 33 saying, hey, this is a nice risk reward and now you're getting that move. You're out of, you're in the consolidation phase. You got the slight oversell because of the slight overbought right here. So you have those two there. So overbought, oversell on support here. A lot of green turning. This should extend out. And now we should get a, a fairly fast move up to 48. So second leg of the chair pattern that we uh, referred to all the time here. Really like it. Um, PLD have been in this one for a while. Uh, should be breaking out up here to 118 at a minimum. So looks good. Continuing along the, the blue line up. PLTK. This one is moving. This was a unreal stop loss that I had at 228.50. Missed it by one cent. And now we're up 15% from that. So lucky or skillful. I don't know. But the the longer move is up here to 36. Palantir turning, uh, falling off support a little bit, which is a little concerning. Um, but this does tend to, to run fairly quick. So look for continued strength tomorrow on Palantir. Uh, Car parts, I think we had this at 16 or 17, making its way all the way up. Just don't want to see a breakdown off of that support right there, which it's back onto. So it, it looks pretty damn good. Like this one a lot thematically. Uh, pure play online retailer within auto aftermarket. So competing against the O'Reilly's, AutoZone, Advanced Auto Parts, etc. Um, there's hedge fund interest in that too. Uh, this one spot on. Damn, I did not realize it got all the way up there. Seeing some resistance here. Just hope uh, Bill Ackman continues to tweet good things. PRCS. Uh, I mean, there's not really resistance up there, to be honest. So, let's look it up and go. Like, yeah, there's not true resistance up there. I mean, you can probably say here maybe is is where it got rejected. Um, but I think you should see this continue to move up. So look for a continuation and extension, hopefully. Tomorrow here on Car Parts it is a, a shorted name. So I mean, if it gets above this blue line up here, then you're going to look for a short squeeze up. And you can actually see a run to potentially 30, which would be the, the upper resistance line here. So can't cut it out, this thing. Tends to move very, very fast. I let's hope it's just sitting on support. RCL just plagued because of continued delays with um, the cruise industry overall. Not much can do there. It's a long term position for me. Looking for the move up to the, the C peak eventually, um, which is up here at 135. So, looking for a long term double here once the cruise industry proves to, to rebound. Sunrun bought this in the, the low 70s. Nice move to give that some gains today. Um, but looking for a short term move up here to 85. Similar pattern to here on the left, just repeat again. Skills. 
been in this once. Since it was FEAC, looking for a move up to 54. Uh, do need to be careful though, because it's it's fairly extended here. Constellation Brands, one of the best operators within the beer space. Corona, Modelo, Pacifico, go down the list. Uh, the longer term move is to 300, so looking for that. Should get there by Q3 of 21. TJ Maxx, off price retailer, continues. Off price retail continues to crush it. They are one of, I mean, it, it probably is one of the strongest concepts within the the troubled brick and mortar environment that that we live in today um so as you can see you got the covid oversell out of this channel just make it clear for you so it was in this blue channel here you had the oversell due to covid and now it's going into the overbought so looking for a move up to 81 from tj maxx uh, they're well ahead of Ross and Burlington, so R O S T and B U R L, and they continue to benefit from department store weakness. Tilray like this one a lot. It's a longer term play. You can see the cup here is what I'm looking for. So a move to eighty. You have uh, Afria merging with them. Afria shares being converted into point eight. Chill Ray share, so they're they're keeping the Till Ray brand uh, from an operating perspective. Like this one long term, BFF another great one. Um, approaching resistance up here at eighteen eleven. When this breaks through, we're gonna see move up to thirty three. So this is the largest input in Yolo the ETF. So Yolo looks really good as well. I don't own this anymore. It's unfortunate. And I knew it was a good one too. What is this? Damn. Gosh. God damn. Hate to see it, but it's going up to fifty nine here. It's like no resistance here on the left. Uh Buzzy. B U Z I. Looking for a move all support in that kind of W formation, at least up to 16. But you may get that extension up here into the 20 range. So this one looks pretty good. Uh, Wix, best of best. Breaking out of the the consolidation phase and now should start to head up to the second leg up to 450 and then ZNH laggard China airline this is a technical pattern here um, but you can see it's in an over sold position and, and now it needs to extend up here into the 90s so sticking with this one like it so that is a ZNH. I can get to. I just went through the room. Did you not see it? Uh, so the room is going up here to 58. Looks really good. You can see it bounce here, and now it's really no resistance until it gets up here. So. It's, it's a, uh, unless there's extreme market weakness, this is going up to, to 50, 59. Uh, let's see here. CNME. Broke above the resistance, but it. Is continuing to show some weakness here, uh, unfortunately. 
just want to see it hold this support line at 40 now and then make its way up back to, to 50. I believe they did a, a acquisition and was not well received by the market, hence this oversell out of the channel. But the good thing is what I always highlight, the oversell is always reflected on the other side. So they have more than one comp company operating under this holding company. So despite some of the negative reactions to the to the the acquisition news that they did through one of their vehicles the other brands that they own should should offset that so that looks good cnn uh bohr i'll do one penny stock for you but yeah you can see the cup and handle here and now it's it's going to extend um, so you can see it here. So you have the cup. One second, I messed that up. So you have the cup here. You have the handle drawdown, and now it's turning up again. This could extend up here to three this next resistance here 286 so um this one looks pretty pretty good that is the next resistance right there around 161 but it is getting rejected right there at 127 post market it's up and so that is B O R R rocket it's sitting, it's sitting on that support there, um, struggling to to find any momentum. You do need to be careful here on earnings, so just be cognizant of that. But you can see this is is one of those ones that is likely going to get back up here to the full retest. I mean, it's hard to believe, but we show the same pattern every time here. Elanco Elk. Huh, broke down. Um, let's see. see so got rejected three times up here one two three and then it broke down it should hold this blue line here it's going to weak point so it should hold that and then try and mount it looks like it is yeah so looks fine really just don't want to see it below 2576 um probably get away with the stop there uh, 27.7. But look for this to kind of turn higher here. Blanco help. And then DM. Yeah, I like that one a lot. Uh, despite all the offerings that they've done, continues to hold up. So that is a pretty good indication that this is going all the way up to, to these le levels up here um 20 21 5 and then 24 I mean, who knows how much higher this can prove to go are investing it so 
You got to trust it. FSR. Just chilling on support here, Fisker. Um, just want to keep a stop there. Shouldn't break down. You can see how much consolidation is here. Usually means that it's going to expand higher uh, when it's trading sideways for that long. So that is Fisker FSR. Oops. And I, I can't really help you on these. These things are uh, impossible to forecast here. Let's see, that's where it found resistance. I mean, there's really nothing I can tell you here on a penny stop like this. I just look for it to hold mid 12s, and then you just need to watch the bars for green, but I can't help you. On something that goes 200%. Uh, Sun works. Let's see right here. And then holding this right here uh, may come down against this support. Let's see this evened out a bit. So there's resistance here which is now under, and then the next one, somewhere here, we did get some rejection at. And then the next one is up here. So, looks good. I assume is this solar, S-U-N-E-W. I assume it is. Mara, yeah, I have Mara going up to 40, 40, 40 dollars here. Probably by tomorrow. Looks really good, I own it. And then the next one's 54. And stick with it. Solar's fairly weak here, but it's consolidating. At this resistance point, um, and once it breaks out, you're going to see a pretty massive move here. Arc F, I don't have a charted, but and there's not there's not much I can tell you here. Just buy it. This is how you measure it, though. It's a sixty-five at least. Um, Usually what happens if the NASDAQ gets as parabolic as it likely will, um, so the next leg here would be 60. So you get the equal measures here, and then you'll get this move up here. So. That is how would I would I would approach Arc F, but if you're investing in an ETF like this, you might as well just hold it for the, the long term here. Um, okay. Once again, I can't. These these ones are very tough to predict. I mean if you're Playing sundial here. Let's see, that's the rejection point. So, next one's there. I, there's not much I can tell you. It just needs to hold this support line here, which it likely is. Let's see. So yeah, I mean, you should see a move up to 170 here. <clears throat> Don't listen to Kembo. Kembo is a fraud himself. Uh, and so I'm just trying to catch up to the the ones that you guys sent through. Give me one second. 
Let me see if this will stop. So, let's see. yeah, I mean, I've tried a Ford for you. Thirteen forty is where I have that one going. Um, let's see. That TNXG, your shitty pharmaceutical stock. Shit stock. The next resistance is at 198, and then the one after that is 246. Oh, just give me one second. TNXP. So those are the, the next two. Resistance lines. Um, I would assume it gets up here Q four five, but who who really knows there? Open door, high margin business. Just seeing some pressure. It did. It's trying to turn higher here, which is good. Um, not really sure what it bounced off of. Not much support there, so I guess it's this right here. Yeah, there it is. Um, so it should get back up here to the $30 mark, and then we'll see if it can extend out of it. And that would, it looks like an equal measure. Let's see. 117. That would be. So you got the A, the B, and you're looking for the C peak here, equal distance. I mean, it maps out to, to right at 35.5. Um, so it should get up there. Open door, competes against Zillow, Redfin now. Real good. NPA, it's breaking out here. This looks pretty good. What is, who are they acquiring? NPA. So on something like this, where you're looking for it, so you have that W pattern, you can see it where it bounced off, went up. What usually happens, you'll get a, a extension from here and then just double it. So you're probably looking at a move to 24 here. Um, it's usually how it works. So off the bottom to the breakout point there, and then just extend it one more time. So you're looking for a move up to 24 on, on there. In terms of time frame for charting, I it depends on how much price history is there. So this one looks really good for a extension up here to 24. Nerd. I'm sure what the fuck this is. As uh, the other round hill ETF. I mean, just 
stick with it. This is a thematic, so keep, I don't know what the inputs are here, uh, but essentially what you do is you just take this and then double it. So just attach the peaks here. So you can see peak, peak, peak there, and then it should do a third flight higher, more parabolic the third time, which will put it up to 50. So that is nerd. I have to look for the inputs here, but anything sports betting related is, is well positioned here. No, not really. I don't use any of those. So in terms of time frames, it depends on, on how much price history is there or something like this where there's limited. Daily's fine there. Um, when it's like a really new IPO, it'll be four hour, and then long term, start on like a monthly or weekly, and then go down. Bingo. Yeah, this one is stuck. But it looks like it wants to get back up here to 1275. So is this this one arc has or not? I can't remember. But you can see it here. Down, up, down, up again. So 1270 is what you're looking for on Bingo. Edit, we already posted it in the chat. So just search edit in the chat and you can find it. Uh, but you're looking for that move and nice, nice move off of the support today. So looking for it to extend up. So you go here, 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 pull back and then extension up pretty much just Carbon copy that over here, um, and then you get the breakout there. So that matches pretty perfectly in terms of what you're looking for. That's edit, so that one looks really good. And then the next one, NXPI. If you're looking for a move up to one, 196 on NXPI, I mean, anything semiconductor is as hot as anything right now. So you're going to want to stick with stuff like this. Um, looking for a move up here. Let's see a bounce there. Um, so the move would be up to 200 near term on NXPI. Vuzi already went through. Um, w formation here on the channel, green bars, it's usually a good sign that it's going to turn higher. So I'll take my shot here after all that green, looking for that extension up here. Oh, then that makes sense. Because I'm colorblind, so I don't use dark mode. I used to use it, and then it would... It was just hard to see the lines. So I changed it to light mode. But yeah, so that's boozy. I can yeah, I gotta re 
can you do that if I want to switch it? Um, but um, let's see what else here. Lynn. So that did that move up there that I was looking for. Rejected, but now it's breaking support again. I'm oh, sorry, resistance again. Right here. And heading back up. So at a bare minimum, you're looking for 278. Let's push all the way up here. So looks looks good. Olin, L I N. Yeah, it's um, it shows it when you click on them. So option T, you see on the left, and that is how you do it. All right, any uh, other ones? I'm gonna pop off here in a second. <clears throat> Once again, if you're not in the Discord, here is the link to the Discord, and then just uh just post that you came from twitch and i will we will help you so say you're from twitch in there if you're not on the the discord yet you get tesla yeah so the thing is like elon to save this i didn't have to to dip there and now it's just holding the support breaking out above the short term resistance line. Um, because I think the NASDAQ gets to 16,000, this is going to have to run up here to 1400. So if we get that next leg higher on the NASDAQ, you're going to look for this to run massively. And you'll see Pretty much another extension we saw right here, just up here again. So call it thirteen to fourteen hundred on a, a Nasdaq move to sixteen thousand. Gina, is that your golden nugget? So that's right on support now. Let's see. Heavy resistance right here. Um, I can even just move this down so you can see it. Not sure why there's so much pressure here. Uh, maybe because it was overextended up there and pressured all the way down. So you need to wait for a green candle here. Yeah, the RSI is getting real low, as you can see. Um, haven't really checked this one fundamentally, so. Wait for green. Uh, I just set an alert, so I'll post in the, the Discord if it gets above this line. That would be the turning point, inflection point, reversal point, whatever you want to call it. MVM. So this is one with a lot of price history. So I would typically start on the monthly to identify the trends. So you can see resistance up here. And then there's some up here. But there's there's not a ton of resistance. Points. There is a peak right there, which is where it's getting rejected at. Um, call it right now. So,
MGM obviously going to be pressured with COVID, the rest of the hospitality industry, but they should survive. Um, so you can see this is the channel right here. And this is the oversell. So you're looking for a reflection of this COVID drop right here on the other side. Uh, so that will put this stop at, let's see, 65 ish when you get that full reflection. So I like it. Casino operator, Bellagio, Fire Hotel. Looks really good. Uh, what do you mean? This, like the channel or, or I do option P and then shift. Is that what you mean? EFT. All right, I'll do this one. But there's a risk down here into the, the orange channel. Bottom of it supports, so call it low 17s. And just want to see it hold that. Got rejected up here along this this blue resistance line a few times, so it just needs to get up and then release into the overbought position up there. So a good thirty percent move when it turns. All right, I'm gonna get off here after the uh, work. I will be in the Discord. charts that you want over the next day or so um just need to catch up there but relatively speaking holding holding a lot of my current positions uh they're significantly outperforming the market here so just gonna let let the positions play out and continue to uh, maybe do a few day trades in between, but that's about it. So I'm gonna wrap up. Appreciate everyone joining the stream. Once again, join our Discord and I will catch you guys in there. All right.